Yo, we back with the second one of the day. Today we're talking about T Mac. We got through Vince Carter yesterday, and I was amazed at some of the clips that I ain't never seen before. And T Mac was well before his time, man. Honestly, if T Mac was playing in, in 2019, 2020, he'd be averaging ridiculous numbers. He was well before his time. If it wasn't for some injuries and stuff. He, you know what I'm saying? But we reacted to his top highlights as a full 10 minute video, which is what we love. So let's get into it. Top 40 pet plays, bro. Top 40 plays from T Mac. Let's go. And a lot of these clips may be a bit grainy, but it's okay because you're going to understand the greatness of Tracy McGrady. Come on, man. Do you understand what he just did in this clip? This is Sean Bradley, one of the tallest players in the history of basketball. Right over him. Like he was not there. Okay. All right. Ray for Austin. Skip to my Lou to T-Mac. There is four or five jerseys here. What is he going to do? Beautiful pass. What were they doing defensively? The Clippers were terrible for a long time. And these may be one of the terrible Clippers team. <laughs> Honestly, Chuck Hayes. Wow, Chuck Hayes is in the, in the highlight reel. Okay. Get baseline. Don't jump. 360. I don't even know. Is that a 360, 720, 180? He, it went on and on and on. And he gets to the other side of the rim and goes up with it. T-Mac. Cornell David. This is before my time because I don't even recognize the name Cornell David. And they, we probably don't recognize it because this ended his career. Oh, my God, T-Mac. Off the backboard to himself in game, y'all. That is in a good, that is a national basketball game. Not an all-star game. Not a Rise of Stars game. Not a, not a three-point shoot. Well, he wouldn't do that in a three-point shootout. But you get what I'm saying. That is a real-time game. He just threw it off the backboard to himself. Hang time is ridiculous. Hang time is ridiculous on that one. Mm. I wish they were numbering the top 40. Shout out to Shaq. But golly. T-Mac. And this is back with T-Mac and, and VC played together, bro. Cousins, right? I'm pretty sure they are cousins. Playing on the same team. I cannot imagine playing on the same national basketball team as one of my closest cousins. T-Mac. In traffic. Don't jump. The Kimbe Matumbo. Ain't no, 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 no here. It's a yes, yes, yes. What are you talking about? Threw it right down on his head. Two people had at that. Don't jump. Oh, this is a game winner. This is a game winner. High off the glass. Two seconds left. And I don't know if AI may have came back to hit a game winner. I don't know. AMAC was a nasty dude, too. But yeah, that's a that's a tough shot. And the announcer just said that's his career high of 44 points at that time. Don't jump. Okay, he learned it. People are learning a lesson. People are starting to learn a lesson. You don't jump with T-Mac. This is young T-Mac, too. This is young T-Mac. And who was that? Is that Keith Van Horn that get put in the bucket? All right. Give it to him on the block. Hold on. Please replay that one. Replay that one for me, please. I don't even know if I got to grasp. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's nasty. Back to the basket, post player like ISO. Give me the ball, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get you a bucket type player, bro. It was not many people in the NBA that could check T Mac, honestly. Mm. Not many people that could check T Mac on a one on one. Like really, he was a he was a prime example of an ISO player. Him, uh, Vince Carter, obviously, uh, Joe Johnson, Melo. These are all ISO players. But like it didn't matter what defensive thing you threw at him, he can give you a bucket regardless. And that's a game winner. That's a game winner. Oh, now we're in the All-Star game. Now he's going off the backboard to himself. <laughs> Remember, he did this in a regular season game too, y'all. In a regular season game where there's stakes. There's no stakes in the All-Star game, but in a regular season game, there is. Great pass, T-Mac. Jim Jackson. I'm hearing a lot of names I ain't heard in a long time. Jim Jackson hit that corner three for him. Mm. Beautiful. Cash. Okay. We back in Orlando for this one. Is that Kobe? Hey, Kobe is one of the nastiest one-on-one -on -one defenders, and he just had him stumbling. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe. Uh-huh. Oh, don't give him baseline. Oh, my God, bro. What do you? How do you feel after getting dunked on that nasty? What do your teammates say? Oh, LeBron is in the crowd. Yo, that is before LeBron got to the league, right? This has to be uh, senior year LeBron. He got the Jordan jersey on. Mm. Not against my Bulls. Oh, not against my Bulls. Young Derrick Rose there. Tyrus Thomas. 
get put on a poster. Remember when the Bulls traded LaMarcus Soldiers for Tyrus Thomas? Because I remember that. I'll never forget it. Don't jump, Tyrus. And stare them down like, bro, what are you doing, rookie? Get out of here. It's a lot of dunks, and just the hang time is ridiculous. We got to start ranking players on the hang time. You know what I'm saying? We got Jordan. T-Mac might be number two. T-Mac might be number two as the amount of hang time he be getting on these shots. Again, off the backboard to himself. Early in the game. No coach is ever going to think that that's okay unless you're Tracy McGrady. <laughs> because you can do stuff like that. Okay, he's going against Vince. Just climb the absolute ladder, bro. Mm -mm -mm. There's no way a man should be able to jump that high. No reason for a man to be able to jump that high. Uh-uh. You in the greatest centers of all time, Patrick Ewan? Nope. Not when I'm around. Give me those. This don't even look like a real game. What is that? A, a preseason game? Why did that get that footage look so weird? Good DT, Mac. See, I don't remember much about his defense. I mean, obviously, people are going to have defensive highlights. But, like, his actual defense, I don't know much about. I don't know if he was a great defender. I mean, I mean, a lot of players will see that as disrespectful because you already up by 10 with four seconds left. You, you should dribble it out. But, nah, T-Mac gave them a show. T-Mac gave them a show. And ain't nobody going to look at T-Mac and say, like, Why'd you do that, bro? Nah, T-Mac was that good. You just had to accept your L. You had to accept your L because T-Mac was doing that type of stuff to y'all. Great box out by his big man right there. Good pass. Luis Scola. Luis Scola was actually pretty decent for a long time, man. Luis Scola, very underrated in history. Never never like a... I don't know if he ever made an All-Star game. I don't think he ever did. But very, very solid. Playoff time, fourth quarter. Where we got T-Mac on the block. Oh, man. Oh, man. Made him fall. And then he got AK-47, who was known as his elite defender, and went right at his head. And dunked on Hakeem Elijah one. Somebody, I hope somebody's counting how many bodies this man T-Mac has caught in this video. Because it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. There's another one. Uh, who's that against the Bucks? I don't even recognize who got bodied. And it may be a player that we don't even need to recognize because he's out of the league because T-Mac did that to him. Mo Peterson. Hakeem Elijah one's down there again. Hakeem Elijah one's going to be had to have nightmares about this man. He didn't even jump that time. He's like, you know what? I learned my lesson six years ago. I'm not jumping this time. I'm just I'm going to just let Mo Peterson get bodied. Okay. Is that Drew Gooden? Oh, man. I mean, uh, let me be an announcer, bro. Let me be an announcer, bro. Because some of these announcers don't be giving they all on these calls. T-Mac is bodying people like that? We need Yao Ming highlights. I'm going to add that to the list. I, I miss Yao Ming, man. We need Yao Ming highlights. Um, Yeah, man. Some of these announcers don't give their all. Like, get hype, bro. Sometimes these are once-in-a-lifetime type. Uh-oh. Speaking of once-in-a-lifetime. You hear that call? Oh. Come on, man. Get hyped. That was in the garden. Here it is. Nope. Nope. Bad call. Pat Garrity. Yo, shout out to Pat Garrity, man. I knew he was going to make an appearance because he played with T-Mac, but they go Pat Garrity on the bench. Some of y'all know about Pat Garrity's uh, importance to me. Good defense. Literally met him at the rim. Literally met him at the rim. At the apex. Literally at the apex. You're not dunking on me tonight. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, 10 seconds left, T-Mac in the playoffs, 2005. It was a good year for Dallas, wasn't it? Didn't Dallas get to the championship this year? Right? And then they lost to Wade. I could be mistaken. Maybe I'm thinking about 2006. Anyway, third quarter, T-Mac pick and roll with Yao. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know we're going to have to get – the number one clip has to be, you know what I'm thinking, right? The X amount of points and X amount of, you know what I'm saying, X amount of seconds. Up and under on Amari Stoudemire. Bruce Bowen, a great defender. Get picked. You know what time it is, baby. You know what time it is, baby. Look at the time and look at this man work. I'm sorry, Tim Duncan. Count him. 
Imagine being one of the people that left this game. Imagine being one of the people that left this game. Down by five, 16 seconds left. T-Mac gets it. They're literally like, like starting to bring a double right over the top of Bruce Bowen. 11 seconds down by two. 11 seconds down by two. Turnover. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, T-Mac, don't do it. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. What a monster, bro. What a monster moment. That, yes, that's the clip you end the video off with. It does not get better than this moment, man. It doesn't. Oh, man. What does, what does Greg Popovich say to his team in the locker room after this loss? Oh, top 60 clutch plays in a decade. My boys, we may be watching that with tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, man. I've been loving doing these reactions, and I'm going to continue to do them, at least until basketball come back.